I'm outside in an AMG, right outside. Okay, you guys, so we finna get straight into the video. No talking, not too much talking, y'all. I wanna get straight to it. So I have my edge control and my edge brush, y'all, and I'm really just brushing my edges back because I wanna make sure that the hair is completely out the way so that my hair don't get pulled out with the glue and I'm edgeless, yeah. So let's bust open this wig cap, put this wig cap on, and yeah, let's get right into it, y'all. I'm finna cut a hole in the ear part just so like it lays flat on my ear. Y'all gonna see what I'm talking about whenever I move my glasses from underneath it. But yeah, I'm cutting holes on both sides and fitting it around my ear. And now we're going in with my ghost bond glue, y'all. And I'm just doing like a line across my forehead. And I'm gonna rub this in. And this is just a line really to like get the cap to lay on your skin, you know, and like be, for you to be able to cut it. Because if you put it on and cut it, then it's not going to have no way to stay on. If that makes any kind of sense. But yeah, y'all see me sitting here cutting it right now. And you want to cut off as much as the lace as you possibly can. Honestly, you don't want to leave on no extra. You want to cut it right where your hair starts at. So that it's not too far up. It's not too far back. And yeah, make sure y'all get all them extra little pieces that's not glued down. Okay, and now I'm going back in with my ghost bond glue again, and I'm just putting it around along the line that I, we just cut. And so now with this time, you want to really like try to press the comb into your skin. Like you want to try to press the wig cap down. Like you see the pieces that's kind of sticking up from where it's been cut. You want to push that in. I know y'all see how I'm kind of pressing it into my skin right here. And now I'm taking my e.l.f. concealer and I'm just putting it along the edge line so that my cap actually matches you know my real skin color we want it to be blended as possible baby so blend 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 brush 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 with the brush and yeah get that get it your color okay i know y'all see that cap it's blended baby what cap so y'all we're going in with the glue again and we finna go ahead and just this is gonna conceal the makeup on there so you don't have to worry about it coming off or nothing like that so yeah just put that on there again and we finna rub it in again we want it real stuck down i don't really like glueless wigs i don't like my wig to be like loose so i need mine stuck down to the scalp but yeah just rub that down y'all and keep rubbing until it's clear Okay, you guys, and so this is the wig that I have. It's a blonde wig um, or a highlighted wig or whatever. And I'm just giving y'all a little looky-see at it. I didn't pluck the edges and everything. Plucked a little, you know, got to have it having a natural hairline. But y'all, so I'm taking that same makeup that I put on my wig cap. And I'm putting that on the lace front of the wig. Because the lace front of the wig, honestly, it was like kind of white. And like most of them are. And I like mine to be looking, you know, brown skin. Because I'm not light skinned. So, yeah. Just rub that in, rub that in. You're going to see the color change for real, for real. So now we're going to just put that mud on, y'all. Pull it down to the front. And I'm feeling myself real cute, real cute. Stop playing with me. Okay? Yeah. So get into it, y'all. Anyways. Hey, you guys, so we're going in with another layer of glue, just rubbing it in. Make sure you get real close down by your ear part because that part always seems to have trouble sticking. Okay, so now I'm just taking my scissors and I'm cutting off all the excess lace that's kind of like by your ear so that it's not just hanging over my ear or whatever. And yeah, I'm doing that on both sides. You can usually, you sometimes don't have to do this, but if the wig cap is big, then you will have to cut it off. Okay, y'all. And now I'm just going in with my little rat tail comb and I'm like trying to push the lace down into my skin and, you know, get it real blended, really stuck down to the glue. And now I'm taking my little band. I really prefer these skinny bands over the thick ones because it really like goes in the exact spot that you want. 
but yeah so now after letting that sit on for a good 10 minutes i'm now cutting the lace off and y'all you want to kind of cut at like a jagged motion like kind of like uh how would i say it? like you know see how i'm doing it it's not a straight line you don't want it to be a straight line because then it kind of looks like you have an edge when the wig is on so yeah you kind of want to cut kind of back and forth a little bit and now i'm just going in with my little concealer and i'm putting this on the lace just so that it's like you know it got the color on it I, we already done this part but i'm putting some more on it just you know we want it to be hidden for real for real hey y'all and another thing i do is get the spritz and put it on along the line as well just to mask it you know so it's like real it's like giving for real for real that spritz gonna really help i swear so y'all now i'm taking my Evon spray and i'm just putting this on here it's really like the ghost bond glue but i put it on the spots where like whenever i cut just in case anything is like sticking up i put that extra glue there but anyways y'all yeah so now we're going in trying to get our part sectioned off and i'm kind of doing a side part i'm thinking a deep side part and i'm just kind of like perfecting it really just trying to go in like get the part as straight as possible Okay, y'all, and so I decided to hold on on the part, and I started taking out my edges. So I'm taking the edges out, and I didn't let y'all see the front two edges because I was recording a TikTok video, and y'all, it's so hard to record TikTok videos and a YouTube video having to switch the camera back and forth. But anyways, yeah, so now I'm taking out my sideburns, and then you're just going to get this little razor and, like, kind of, you know, cut them. But you don't want to cut with scissors. Or you can, but, like, this really has it kind of looking still jagged at the ends instead of, like, a straight line. I know y'all going to be able to tell the difference. Like, if you were to cut with scissors, it would be straight across type. And this kind of makes it to where they're still looking puffy a little bit. Okay, you guys, and so now we're going to take the skinniest flat iron we got, and we're going to curl them baby hairs because we want them to be trained to lay. I, for some reason, I always start with mousse to lay my edges, even though the mousse really doesn't just hold them well. I go over them with mousse first just to get them into position, like, to where I want them to be. But I also do go over it with a got-to-be glue. It's a blue, I mean, not a blue one. Oh, my God a black one the black one i usually go over my edges with the black got to be glue and i'm fixing to show you guys the back the black got to be glue right now and that's the one y'all so i just put my finger in it and then rub it at the top of the edge and yeah so yeah now i'm going in with my hot comb just trying to flatten the hair out honestly y'all i really didn't know how i wanted to style this wig but so y'all i'm gonna just do like an up and down with the front out like a bang kind of side swoop or something Anyways, y'all, so, yo, I'm currently brushing the top of the hair up. And, y'all, I'm using mousse and spritz and my hot comb to really, really get it flat. And for some odd reason, y'all, I recorded this in slow-mo and I didn't even know. So, I'm sorry that it's moving so slow. I don't know what went on, honestly. Okay, y'all, so I'm just steadily kind of going over the part that I'm going to put in a ponytail because I really want it to be flat. And this is kind of difficult, honestly, trying to get it flat. So, y'all, I'm just steadily going over it and over it and over it. So, you're going to realize that when you try to do it, like, it's going to take some time. So, yeah. Hey y'all, so I'm just gathering the hair, putting it up into a ponytail. I'm using two rubber bands, praying to God that they don't pop. But, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm using rubber bands instead of hair bows because, like, the rubber band's gonna really hold it tightly. Because if you don't hold it tightly, it will have lumps in it, and we definitely do not want that. 
Okay, y'all, so now I'm taking my mousse, and I'm just putting it on the swoop section, because I kind of want it to be, like, super laid, you know, and I'm going to go over it with spritz as well. But anyways, yeah, we brushing the hair back, and we fist the hot comb it to be in that same direction that I'm brushing it. so i really don't know how to use a curling iron so anyways i'm using my big old flat iron to curl the bottom of this hair and my curl came out cute so not too much but yeah i want it to be curled at the end y'all so here it is and here's the final effect like here go the final final thing y'all it was real cute i feel like it was given like i don't know what it was given but it's given and it's real cute but yeah, y'all, y'all go get this wig. I got this wig off Amazon, and I'm going to leave the details down below. Y'all tune in for more. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and join the family.